when you perform some specific statistical analysis, uh, there are some criteria that should be met in order to, to get uh, really reliable results. So, for example, in an independent uh, sample t-test or a one-way ANOVA, you should be sure that your uh, data is normally distributed or that uh, there are no outliers in your data or extreme outliers. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to detect and deal with outliers. So, the procedure for you to um, detect outliers is as follows. You just have to click on Analyze, hover over your mouse over on Descriptive Statistics and click on Explore. Now, again, let me just uh, change this to Display Variable Names, so it's shorter. And uh, we want to check outliers in these two scales, Competence and Verme. So we select both and add it to our dependent list. In this case, we are not going to add a factor list. A factor list in this case might be sex or gender. So, uh, but we are not going to use it now. Uh, additionally, uh, we don't want statistics for this example. So we are just going to display plots. When I click here, notice that this button will become gray. So is no longer uh, accessible. Now let's go to plot and we have these options here. Since uh, I'm just going to show you how to uh, detect outliers, uh, you just have to deselect steamed leaf. Uh, we don't want normality, to, normality plots with test. We are going to use this when we are uh, checking for the normal distribution of our data. And additionally, in this case, I want dependents together. So we are going to have both scales inside the same box plot. If uh, we keep factors level together, we are going to have different graphs. Now, uh, we just click on Continue. As I showed you the last time, uh, click on paste so you have a chance to see the syntax of the action you want to perform and uh, you will be able to track everything you do. Select this part and click on run. So we have first here uh, some statistics for our scales and we have here our box plots. So as you can see here we have some points here and here and some of those are had a circle and other have an asterisk. A circle means that you have outliers and an asterisk is that you have extreme outliers. The number that you see here for example is the number of the case that contains the outlier so you are able to track it down in uh, make a decision whether you uh, delete uh, the case or you fix the case. How you decide this? Uh, think about three major uh, possibilities for you to deal with outliers. An outlier uh, might be caused because of uh, wrong typing, a data entry. So for example, you made a mistake in the um, entry process of your data and accidentally just uh, type in a higher or a lower number than your actual scale uh, allows to. If that's the case, is uh, that's the easier scenario. You just have to uh, fix this uh, uh, entry and there is no problem. If you have an outlier that uh, is um, caused because a measurement error uh, then you might consider to get rid of this case. Um, how do you determine if it's a measurement error? For example, if uh, you have a scale where you have uh, degrees, Celsius degrees, and your scale goes from 0 degrees to 50 degrees. If you see, for example, that uh, in your data you have a value of 60, that's over your actual scale. So you perhaps could just take this hypothetical 60 degrees 
and convert it to the next uh, higher value which will be 50 and uh, a third scenario is that uh, you have genuinely initial values so for example in this case we have a range like from 20 to 50 but say our scale goes to 100 we see that a lot of the population is here but one or two persons uh, gave a score of 75 in this case uh, my advice is always ask uh, for a supervisor how to deal with this there is no like a straight answer is not a black and white answer how to deal with this so in this case uh, let's take a look at this extreme outlier in our Nick Verme scale so we know is the case 110 so let's go to our data editor go to data view and we knew was the case 110 here we have it let's find here our scale and we can see here that this value is 140 if we uh, take a look at the other values we see that this is a really um, initial value really high but uh, in this case you might assume that the person who enter this uh, data point accidentally type in the one first making it 140 makes sense to think that this was actually a value of 40 40 is something that is in between all these values so we are going to fix, fix this enter 40 and rerun our analysis we already have everything we want here click on OK and now that extreme outlier is gone as for these values those are outliers but seems to be within range of the rest of the data in this case I'm going to keep it so for example if you are performing a one way and half a that's a very robust test and you can just uh, leave it there but again uh, that's not so black and white you'll have to decide uh, depending on the situation and always ask a supervisor